This is EasyLiving.com. Hi everyone, welcome to EasyLiving.com. Well, I've gone through the experience of using the sleep app device. We've gone through the webisode series of what it is, how it works, who should use it, and all the benefits, but we haven't actually talked about the experience. Now, having used the device myself, I can tell you this with absolute confidence. It really is a lifesaver. It can help you with your breathing. It helps you get clean air into your lungs. And when you do run out of breath, it will alarm your body. So how does it work? Very simple. You turn it on, you add water to it. We've talked about it in the previous webisodes of how much water is required. You put it on your face like you were Darth Vader. There's nothing to it. Now, the device is, as again in previous webisodes that were discussed, comes based on the severity of your sleep apnea. So you can start with a light device where the push of air is milder, gentler, softer, and the humidity, you can actually ha um, have a control over the humidity level, but the, the real uh, issue with the devices is the pump of air, the push of air. I had use the lighter version because my apnea was not that severe. So I put it on, put it on my face, tighten the straps, and I was sleeping like a baby. You really don't feel like you have the device on you. It's very comfortable because the plastic is very soft. It's silicone-like. It's very, very soft on your face and about five minutes into it, you won't even know that you have it on. So that was fantastic. The device was simple to use and I got a great night's sleep. What's also fascinating is that I also took the device into the office. So when I was working on my computer or working away doing administrative stuff, you know, sending out emails, etc., I had the device on because again, it helps with my circulation, with my air ventilation, if I can call it. It really helps out. And it also helps me with the adjustment as, at night as well. Overall, the experience was fantastic. I highly recommend it. If you have sleep apnea, go check your physician, talk to them, get their advice. And if you need the device, do use it. It really makes a difference. But other than that, we wanted to ask one simple question. How many people still, after having done these webisode series, know what sleep apnea is. Stay tuned for the final webisode. You're going to find the results of our finding quite fascinating. Thanks for tuning in to easyliving.com where you can find anything and everything lifestyle.